posted in R Gaming on Read It. My son lost his first HC character this morning by Clipped Twings. Link in the description. Dad, I died. He likes to get up before the alarm clock on school days to get a little time to relax after getting ready for school. This morning he woke me up with these words. Level 61 Barbarian, 18 hours played. Most of the time he spent playing the character we did it together. I'm a media advocate. I like playing video games and watching movies with my son. I don't use the screen as a babysitter. It gives us opportunities for conversations about what he likes and doesn't like in his media. He learns how to talk back to his media. When he watches Minecraft videos on YouTube, if there's cursing, he turns the volume off. And not because he thinks that's what I want, just because it makes him uncomfortable. And this morning, we got to explore some feelings of loss and grief, because he died in H.C. Diablo. He cried, not for long, but he did cry. He talked about how it lagged, and he tried to find the Q button, and he couldn't attack, and then it happened. He died. He couldn't believe it was real. He was sad. He was angry. Before he had to go to school, he had already started a new character, and he was already happily yelling across the house to me the stats of his new loot. Witch Doctor, a savvy choice for HC. What struck me was how this game had given us a real opportunity together. It was just a video game. It's all fake, and it's all shallow, but those tears were real. That sense of loss, no matter how shallow of loss, was real. And I had to work, as a dad, to not comfort him by telling him his next character would be awesome, or I'd help him level his next character, or reason with him by suggesting soft core or get real with him by reminding him that everybody dies in HC. I just had to listen to him and ask him about what he was feeling and give him a safe space to feel sad. It was tough. Parents work so hard to prevent children from experiencing difficult emotions, but it's a disservice to our children to not give them a safe space in which to experience these emotions because we can't prevent them. People die. Loved ones stop loving us. Life has loss and grief, and if I could, I would absolutely prevent all of that from ever occurring in my son's life. But I can't. And because I can't, it's an obligation to prepare him for those eventualities by letting him experience softer, safer versions of loss and grief. It sounds crazy and cruel to say it out of context, but one reason I give my kids pets is because those pets will die. And while I was so ready to encourage my son to go SC, I didn't. I let him choose. And he chose to go back to HC. And he will die again. And the next death will be easier. <laughs>